Yo guys, how you all doing? Got some new goodies for the TRX4. Alright, let's have a look. Got a new body shell, and I know this one fits, because there's another YouTube video that I saw, with a guy running a black one. Awesome video by the way, dude. Really enjoyed that one. So I'm, I'm going to be a copycat and put the same body on, but do a different colour. I don't know what colour to do it yet. That's the body shell here. I was thinking doing it the same colour as what it is on here. So I like the white roof. And I quite like the red colour scheme as well, so any other any other colours you think might look good on there guys, let me know in the comments. Alright, so I've got that. And also, and look, look how clean it is. Cleaned it all up again, so it's looking sort of like almost new again. Got some other crawler bodies here. I think definitely this one's the one I'm going to run with. Ford Bronco! Jeep! I think this one looks cool. I saw another YouTube video, so I'll put one of these on a the TRX4. That looked pretty cool. So I like that one as well. This one looks good. They all look good, really. I'm quite torn between which one to put on, but I think this one here, that, that, one, that one's got the edge for me, I think. And tyre-wise, I've got a bit of a selection here to choose from. I did originally want to run these here. They're like the, the super, uh, what, what are they, the bogger tyres. But the trouble is, they're pretty big. They're 1.9s, but they're just so bloody big. So, if these are too big, then I've got a couple of other options. I've got these ones here, which are the flat irons. And the other ones are these ones here, BF Goodrich. They both look fairly similar, actually. I don't know which ones to go with, really. They both look pretty cool. Let's get getting some better light. So we've got these ones here, the flat irons. I don't really want to take them out of the packet if I'm not going to use them, but these are the flat irons. And they're just about the same size, I think, as what the standard Traxxas ones are. And these are the BF Goodrich. So leave a, leave a comment down below, guys. Let me know which ones you want to see me run. Right, and then for the wheels, we've got these ones here. Uh, these ones are 2.2s, so they're a bit too big for me. Or these, and I think I'm just going to go with a set of these ones here. 1.9 black bead lock, 8 spokes. They've got a little bit of weight to them. That's supposed to be good on these crawlers, have a little bit of weight in there. So let's see how they fit on. We've got these portals on here, and I know some tyres, they struggle a bit getting on there. Oh yes, guys! That's the result. I'm so glad they fit. I was in two minds if they were going to fit or not because they've got this beadlock ring ring around the back here. All right, that is really close there, guys, but they work. So it's not rubbing anywhere, so that's brilliant. All right, let's get this bodywork unpacked. All right, so I think what I've got to do there is roughly cut that out and then um, just lay it over the top and see what it looks like. And what I find is the easiest thing to do on these when you cut bodies out is just roughly cut out the most of it to get the bulk of it off. And then it's easier to go around and just finish it off. fall right on this hump thing here but luckily you can turn this bit round and now that falls bang in the middle but this whole bed's got to come down a bit more and it's catching on these shock towers so I think what I'm gonna to have to do is cut a little bit of this bodywork out just so that this bed can sit down more otherwise it's gonna to sit too high up and look silly well, I think I'm gonna to have to temporarily bolt this together now because it's making it a bit hard to try and figure it out. Well, I've just cut around his wheel arches now to tidy it up a little bit. And I think it's easiest now, if I join these two halves together, it'd be easier to work with it. And I think the best way to, to drill it would be to clamp these with a pair of mold grips and then drill straight through. All right, so I've got that lined up just about perfectly. I'll stick a couple of holes in there with his body reamer. Oh 
right, so I've got my body holes made, but around here, we need to cut the shell out a little bit to make it fit. And it's really tricky to get scissors in there or a body ream or anything, so what I found the easiest thing to do is to roughly cut that out and then get a soldering iron and just melt the hole to the desired size. But I wouldn't breathe them fumes in, they're probably not too good for you, so if you're going to try this, I'll do it outside. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've got that almost perfectly mounted up now. Still got to give it some finishing touches, but it fits pretty good. The wheelbase almost fits perfectly. These are the standard TRX4 wheels. And on this side, I've put these great big HBI tyres on there. And I don't know, I, I think it looks a bit silly with them on there actually, to be honest. So I think I'm going to give them boggers a miss. So I might try the flat irons or the, or the BF Goodrich ones. But um, I think these ones here are just going to be much too big. Which is a shame because I really like that tread pattern on these. Alright guys, well let me know in the comments what you think. So here's where I got the idea from. Ridge Dog 51. I think he's the first to put his body onto a TRX4 and it looks bloody brilliant. And tell you what buddy, you've done a good job at making that video. That's one of my favourite TRX4 videos that are on um, YouTube at the minute. So well done dude. Alright, so I've got that all mounted up, it's looking pretty good, but I want to get those steps raised up a bit and I want to get the bumpers raised up a bit also. And I see someone else do a little um, a trick on these, somewhere on Facebook, I can't remember who done it, but if you take these mounts off of here, you can flip them over upside down and that will raise them up. You can do the same with the back one as well. raised it a lot guys mm. that's raised it too much mm. might look silly no I don't think I can do it to that one there yeah that's a shame but I think the front one that's definitely that, that can definitely get flipped over that's hanging so low that bumper it always gets caught on stuff when I'm out playing with it Those bump and holes will come out here. Yeah, that'll work on the front, definitely. I don't know what to do about this back bumper. I'm sticking out so far. It just looks stupid. It looks better just not having it at all, but it's going to tear the body up. Oh, I don't know, guys. It just looks crap. It just looks rubbish with that on there. I don't know. Give me some suggestions in the comments guys, see what you reckon what I can do there on the back to make it a bit better. I mean I want that bumper really, or ideally, to be up the same level as what that bumper is to cover that one up. Or even cut this bumper off and just have this one. You know, to be at that height like this, it's going to have to, oh, I don't know. Alright, well I'll leave that off for now. Yeah, that's it, it's coming off. I sort of had a vision of painting this part chrome. But it's got to be usable, doesn't it? I mean, if I leave it on, don't use any bumpers at all, it's just going to get torn up. Right, yeah, that's looking good. It's looking pretty damn good there. I like that. Cool. Alright, so now we've got to move up these side steps. Ah, by the way, on my last video, on, my, on the X-Max rebuild, someone asked me what drills I use. And this one's actually an um, impact driver. So probably a more suitable one, but I, use, I don't use this one as often because it's a bit slower. And the good thing with this is it's got a torque setting. So you can turn that right down so you don't strip out any threads. Probably the best place where you can get these from is from Amazon. And I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. Alright, what well, seems to be like a perfect little spacer is if you get some M4 nuts, nylocks, and um, they fit perfectly inside this channel here. And I think two of them doubled up, and I've got some longer screws here, M3 by 18s, and then that should sit perfectly then for that body. That's 
better. Still got cut a little bit out of the body here, so it sits down a bit lower, but at the back here, look. Needs to come down a tiny bit. That's looking good. Right, the same on the other side. All right, guys, so that's all mounted up now. Really happy how the front's come out. The side steps have come out good. Front body mount's perfect. Rear body mount has cut some little holes in the back bed here to make that fit. Back bumper, guys, let me know what you think I should do here. I think if I buy a front mount and put that on the back, that might be the trick. But really, I think height-wise, that wants to end up something like that. So those mounts line up straight with the chassis rails. So I might have to make some in, don't know yet. And tyre-wise, guys, let me know on the tyres, what you want me to run on here. So these ones here, definitely too big. I think it's going to look silly, so it's going to be what I have one of these two here. Right, Colour-wise, I don't know what colours to do it. I quite like it when they've got the white roof. Uh, so I was going to do it red. I say now, this, this colour here, that looks really cool. That looks pretty cool. And I've got that paint as well. Green, that looks pretty good. Or do I just do it red? Red ones do look pretty cool. So I'll show you the colours that I've got. So at the moment, I'm kind of torn between that one here and possibly this one. All right, so let us know, guys, what colour you want me to paint here, what tyres you want me to run. Give us some little tips how to mount that bumper. And, um, yeah, so, all right, guys, if you like that video, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, and see you soon. Yeah.